Hello, hello people from uh, How to Web Land. Um, I want to I want to speak today um, about you because I strongly believe that um, you are the the future in 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 so many ways. Um, first, because you represent um, the internet startup technology, whatever industry, which owns the future by design. And um, because you live in Romania and you operate from Bucharest. So, as you can see, I'm uh, wearing a St. Pauli shirt. That's a football club from Hamburg. Has nothing to do with the topic. But a couple of years uh, ago, I lost a bet uh, with, a, with a St. Pauli diehard fan. So I have to put that slide in any uh, presentation for until I die. Um, so if you're ever in Hamburg, um, go and visit uh, the stadium, go and see St. Pauli playing. It's an awesome team and it's a lot of fun there. So let's talk about uh, the Romanian tech scene. A love story or why the fuck did I move to Romania? Because that was exactly the question I got asked when I moved to Romania. Um, as, as I came here first time 2011 um, and I talked with some locals about my plans to build an internet startup here, the first question always was, why the fuck do you plan to move to Romania when you're in Hamburg and you have so many other options? And that's true because you start to think, where could you locate your startup? And you start to think Berlin. I mean, it's a hot spot, a couple of kilometers away from Hamburg. Nice to be there. Um, amazing ecosystem, everything there. London, I mean, it's just over the, over the sea. Uh, you're, you're there, you can speak English. Amazing ecosystem, everything there. Tel Aviv, beautiful. I mean, they have a, they have a beach, uh, amazing ecosystem, a lot of money, um, and for sure, the Silicon Valley. So why the fuck did I choose to come to Romania? Um, while you, you research um, where you can go to, to start an a, um, a internet startup, you stumble upon certain kind of informations. You read, you research, and you find more and more information about the fact that a lot of tech companies, Microsoft, Oracle, Facebook, whatever, you, can, you name them, try to hire Romanian talent and to get them to work for them in two different ways. They try to get them to Silicon Valley and they open R&D centers here. And I thought, all right, there might be something about Romania as a place for a tech startup and then you ask yourself, what do you know as an individual about Romania? <clears throat> and now it gets complicated. What does an average German Joe know about Romania? Well, vampires. So, and that, that's exactly, I'm telling you seriously now, exactly how I thought and the order of it. So first, well, seriously, yeah, vampires. Somewhere there, Transylvania vampires. Haji. <laughs> So if you're a football fan, that, that, that's what you know about, about Romania. Then there was this funny guy with the funny head who at some point, <laughs> yeah, well. And then and now it gets complicated because the next thing is like, you know, there is, this, there is racism and then there is like mild racism. So and I discovered that I'm a mild racist. So I'm not a racist. I, I like people with other colors. I don't have a problem with anyone. But it's like this, what is mild racism? Mild, mild racism is you go to an Italian restaurant in Frankfurt and the waiter is black and you think, hmm, something's wrong. So that's, that's mild racism. So, <coughs> and, uh, so next what I thought about Romania was gypsies, you know? And, you, you, and if you, and you, you, you recognize them exactly like that, so you see them like that. So if you would ask, a, 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 in Germany, if you would ask a, I don't know, 11-year-old child about um, uh, what a gypsy is, uh, they, they would say it's, it's uh, old people with a disability to walk. Uh, and the capital is Budapest. So <laughs> that, that's what I knew about Romania before I came here. Um, and I, but but I, I discovered it's the same the other way around because you know if you talk then as a German with uh, Romanians, uh, it's the same shit. You know, I mean it's like, pff, what about Hitler? Ugh. And then you are so organized. 
I finished that speech tonight. I mean, it's just I'm not organized at all. You know, it's like, and Germans win always uh, in football. Yeah, well, if you're a fan of the German team, you have a hard time sometimes. But we are better than you guys. So, and we drink a lot of beer. And for sure, Germans are not funny. So we are not funny. There's no fun in Germany. So it's like, well, these are the things. Then I made my first trip to, to Romania. First thing you meet at the, at the airport is a taxi driver. He's going to rip you completely off, takes you 40 bucks, you know, to the, to the city. Then I had an appointment with an attorney. The guy looked kind of like that. It was, I did it completely wrong, you know. I googled the guy, he was an attorney, he was somewhere in a block of flats. And I asked him what it would cost to, to found a company here and how much taxes I would have to pay. And he answered originally, he, original, Mr. Knapp, don't worry, we bribe them. You don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of obstacles. But I don't know, I was kind of adventurous and I liked the city, so I started. So in 2011, we started with uh, seven people. It was the first team. Then um, we celebrated our first one million users, so we started our service, Cybergus VPN. It's a, a privacy as a service product, blah, blah, blah. So one million users. Um, our first office was a 100 square feet, uh, uh, square feet uh, apartment office. We grew the team, so uh, we raised it. We moved into our first office with 320 square meters, super nice office. Now it starts to look like a company. So very nice. We grew the team again. And now we are about to move in our first own headquarter with 1,000 square meters, super nice villa in, uh, um, uh, near the old city where we have all fancy shit like a napping room and you know we're gonna have this hallway um, and we have these pipe systems because we are a privacy a company we're gonna install like all over these pipes so we have secure communication in between the headquarter it's like feels a little bit like Google so amazing um, so 2011 as we came here seven and please few thousand uh, users few servers in a few countries 3,000 euro revenue I can remember that the months that was super great so we had traction we did something and today we are 45 people, almost 50 now, um, 6 million users, I know we have 10, put it wrong. We have 700 servers in 29 countries and a revenue of 330,000. Last month it was uh, 350,000 euros a month. Great, that's a success story. We are bootstrapped, we did it all by ourselves, we are super profitable, uh, we can afford to sponsor here the How to Web, we can afford to help out other people, blah, 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 we move into an amazing office, everything good. Now the question is, was that possible because we are a Romanian startup or although we are a Romanian startup? And then I have to tell you now a story about Oana. Oana is um, the first person I hired when I came to Romania. And uh, that was like, uh, Oana is, is this one. <coughs> this one. So she, she was all the time there. So she started the, the company with me. She was the first one on the, on the, on the payroll. And um, I hired her and she was working before as an assistant for a, for a um, also foreign company um, and I flew back to Germany and before I flew back I signed the, the rental call contract for the first apartment we rented and believe me that apartment was a shithole. That was a shithole. It was just like, it was nice, location was nice but the apartment itself was a shithole. And um, I flew back to Germany and then I sent her an email, uh, Oana when I come back in two weeks. Um, there should be an office somehow, you know, with desks and computers and a wired here by, by uh, Western Union, I don't know, a few thousand euros cash. <laughs> That's it. So I just hired her, you know, we spoke, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. So what would the German first hire have done in a situation like that? Resign immediately? Because the guy is apeshit crazy. Call the workers union, also another opinion, ask if there's something, something wrong call a mental institution, and look uh, if, if there's something totally wrong. Ask for more details, so Germans are detail-oriented. Ask for a plan at all. Request a plan or insist in getting a plan. So that's what uh, Germans would do. Oana did it. So I came back after two weeks and it was just done. So learning number one, Romanians get shit done. And that is, that is something that you should really, 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 really acknowledge for yourself. You guys get shit done. 
shit that's not getting done somewhere else. Has, has a lot of reasons, but that's something I can really prove. So could I have bootstrapped abroad? If you look at the costs running your company only in the European Union, you see like uh, uh, Germany is around 100% of the costs, uh, Great Britain is 130% and Romania is 50% of the costs. So that means every euro that we generate here in revenue at the beginning, like the 3,000 euro at the beginning, had a worth of 6,000 euro. So if we generate now 350,000 euros a month, it's the same as you would generate 700,000 euros a month in Hamburg. Even worse for the Silicon Valley because you need a salary of 6,000 to 7,000 dollars to just make a living there. So no, we wouldn't have. Romanians can reach growth states by bootstrapping. What we can do here, what you guys can do here, you can bootstrap the shit out of your competition when they are abroad. And that's a huge benefit. And stop complaining about we don't have access to capital, blah, 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 blah. We are sitting on a gold mine here. Could I have gone international abroad? So, US companies roll out usually in the US first. Why? 320 million people is good enough. Then they uh, roll out their English version, still good enough. Then they get lost and wonder why all over copycats are there. That's what Americans do. They spend their first years in rolling out in the English area. What do Germans do? They roll out in Dach, 97 million people, still good enough. They want to go global and wonder why nobody else speaks German. <laughs> and then they get lost. <laughs> Romanian companies roll out worldwide that they want. 20 million people are not good enough. That's not good enough. The market is a shithole. The local market is not good. That's why you guys roll and think out uh, internationally. So every young Romanian anyway speaks 1,000 languages and learn a new one in two days. So you guys are incredible. And uh, Romanians think global. That's a huge advantage. Could I have built an A-team abroad? <laughs> ah. 22 November 2005 was the day she got elected. And since then we re-elect her and re-elect her. We have a generation of people growing up in Germany that we have to explain that she's not queen, she's a chancellor. We can, could replace her, theoretically. So, Germans and, and, and in a lot of other, we fear change. We fear it like fuck. And if you want to build an A-team, a killer team, if you want a killer team for a startup, you need people who don't fear change. And uh, Romanians have no fear of change. Because you, you would like to get rid of these assholes who rule you right now. You would like to change the educational system and the blah, blah, blah. You don't have fear of change. So Romania's advantage is pretty clear. You speak 1,000 languages, learn new ones. Country is full with smart, self-taught people. Country is full. I see just talent here. I mean, I'm, I'm listening to these pitches since, since, since yesterday. Um, great people, motivated people. I know for my team, these 35 amazing guys, girls who, who work in, in, in the CyberGhost headquarter are all self-motivated. There's no time they have to appear, not appear, and, and they don't have, uh, uh, you don't have to push them to do things. They just do it. Um, people here are disciplined and hardworking. Uh, no fear of change. Life costs are low. And you have Kuruza Kovisi. <laughs> and she kicks ass. <laughs> I mean, she just kicks ass. I, I just wrote last week that they froze now the assets of Ponta. Frozen, all assets frozen. How, must, how, how does that feel for that guy? <laughs> to have her, you know, she has her balls, his balls. That's so amazing. And, um, that's a benefit because it shows that things are changing here and, and that, that you are way more aware of, 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 uh, of uh, corruption than, for example, in the United States where we praise the Silicon Valley. Did you see the American elections? How rigged they are? Not because I'm a Trump fan and he says they are rigged. They are rigged because billions of dollars are floating into this, uh, into this campaign. And uh, I, th I think we're going to see a, a total different Romania in a couple of years here. Can we do better? Yes, we have to. So we have to stop being egoistic and we should start thinking in terms of we instead of I. So this is something this community has to learn. Because if I talk about building a community, that's exactly where it starts. Every startup has a common agenda. There is no competition or something like that. 
You should collaborate by sharing ideas. You should stop comparing and start competing. Start, stop, stop really comparing your country and your situation always with other uh, uh, situations. Start, start competing with them, because we can. I showed it to you. Support your local motorcycle club. So that's like, you know, that's a statement. Support your local, support your local industry and your local startup economy. Don't move abroad. Do not leave the par party until it's over. You can exit here and it's proven. Evangate had an amazing exit here. Uberwu had an exit here. Freshome had an exit here. And so on and so forth. These are just a few examples. Go and get the fucking money. It's here. Don't think about going somewhere else to get it. Evangate got money. Uberwu got money. Vectorwatch gets money right now. They're raising money like shit. And it's enough money here. So you can go and get it. I love Romania. I really do. Um, and I want to teach you a little bit that you should love it too. Because that's what we need. We as CyberGhost are right now kind of successful. We're having a hard time hiring people now who are super experienced. I would love to have like 20 other CyberGhosts in the local market, having competition here, having a community where we could exchange knowledge. So let's whisper a dream of Bucharest becoming the Silicon Valley of Europe because it is possible and doable. Thank you a lot.